Like a warm coat on a winter day, multiple shades of green moss hug these branches, fending off the cold, damp winter air. The bends and crooks of these beautiful giants, a sure sign it's a Gary Oak, one of nature's local treasures. You see how I'm pushing it right down, Brandon? And who better to appreciate these towering trees than the Gary Oak class at Westmont Montessori, little grade ones watching and appreciating from below. These trees and these ecosystems have been here for hundreds of, hundreds of years. For these six and seven year olds, this field trip's got it all. Being outside and digging around in the dirt, they're planting Gary Oak seedlings at Fort Rod Hill and learning why this tree is a bit more special. Because they're dying and they're, be they're becoming instinct. The trees are dying and we, we are trying to save them. Fort Rod Hill has several Gary Oak ecosystems, but the trees don't grow easily on their own. They compete with other trees for space and get munched on by deer and the ecosystems where Gary Oaks grow naturally are endangered. We're living in this really rare and endangered place and space and they have thousands of plants and animals that live in those ecosystems too, many of which that are rare or endangered. Are you a planting tree professional now? Pretty much. Mulch. Mulch, yeah, the mulch we put down and then we put the little protector thing on. In Canada, Gary Oak ecosystems are only found in BC and they're exclusive to here on Southeast Vancouver Island, the Gulf Islands and the Fraser Valley. It's why Parks Canada says we need to help these local ecosystems thrive because once they're gone, they're gone. They know, because we are the Gary Oak class, how few Gary Oak trees there are in this part, of, well, in the world in general. And we've looked on the map, so they know that it's very important and they feel a special responsibility for helping with that. It's why this lesson of digging, planting and protecting is so important. It's something they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives. It's, it's great to, to teach kids early on in age because they can really get an appreciation for their environment and, and once they get like a hands-on experience a lot of the time, they'll really kind of take ownership of it and become little stewards themselves. So my class will be teaching the rest of the school how to do this planting process and they've also just got a really good uh, understanding of that we have to help take care of these endangered plant species. Of the 100 Gary Oak trees being planted, 50 will be here at Fort Rod Hill and 50 more will be planted at Westmont Montessori. But it's not just the planting of trees that's important. Parks Canada says Gary Oak restoration work will also continue here at Fort Rod Hill. In Colwood, I'm Nikki Ewanishan for The Daily.